Speaker Kevin McCarthy open up an impeachment inquiry into the into President Biden working to appease far right lawmakers who have threatened to oust him if he fails to uh, uh, to accede to their demands for deep spending cuts that would force a government shutdown at the end of the month. So the New York Times is saying they're only McCarthy is only doing the inquiry because of the spending bill. Now, that is a possibility. I want you to know. Because McCarthy has said on Fox about a month ago uh, that, uh, you know, if, if we don't if we don't get a bill, we don't get a spending bill. I mean, we're going to have to we're going to have to cut and shut down everything, including any kind of inquiry or impeachment hearing. Oh, I get it. Uh huh. Yeah. I'm not playing that game. Mm mm. You want to shut down the impeachment inquiry because you have to shut down the government? You don't have to do that, but you don't scare me. I don't care. I don't care. I don't expect you actually to do anything anyway. So what do I have to lose? These are these are empty threats from empty suits. For those of us who aren't playing a game, who actually believe that I don't care who it is. I don't care if it was Donald Trump or if it was uh, uh, Joe Biden. I don't care if it was Ronald Reagan. If they break the law, they should be impeached or imprisoned if they break the law. Not witch hunts. Not witch hunts and not small little laws that are, you know, like, honestly, Bill Clinton, he should have paid some price for perjury. Now, at the time, I thought he should be impeached because he lied to the American people. How much money did we spend? How much time did we waste on that? But I honestly... I think Hillary missed the biggest chance in the world. You know, she should have just thrown his suitcases uh, out on the lawn of the, well, that would probably be, and he's president. So she couldn't, she should have just packed up a suitcase, left the White House and say, I fully support him as president of the United States, but we have our issues with our marriage. And he lied to me. She would have been the most popular person in the world, but she didn't. This isn't that. What this impeachment is all about, and this is not an impeachment proceeding, this is an impeachment investigation. So now federal investigators can, uh, the the, uh, uh, Congress has the ability for warrants to look into all of it, where they were boxed in. Now they have full authority to look into anything they want to look into. That's important because we're not just going on some hunt at the beach with a metal detector. We know specifically what we're looking for. When you're going in and taking Donald Trump, what they did was they found the guy and then they said, let's find a crime. This is, there is a crime going on here. Now, is the president directly involved? Well, I don't know how you say He's not. How do you possibly say that? We've looked into the business ventures. Now, I don't say us. I mean, the the Congress has looked into it. We've had several whistleblowers. Investigations have shown that Joe Biden lied. That's the first one. Well, he's just, he doesn't know. He lied over and over again when he said, I have no knowledge of my son's business deals. More specifically, I've never discussed it with my son ever. Okay, we know that's a lie because now we have eyewitnesses, even the head of Burisma Holdings, the Ukrainian energy company, um, According to the intelligence, according to uh, eyewitnesses, he was involved in, what was it, under 100 meetings. I think they were saying 
<laughs> under 100 meetings. He would just pop in with business associates in the middle of a business deal. Let's just be safe. Under 1 million meetings. Right. That's We can be right. safe in that one, I think. Okay. Apparently, Jol- Jolkevsky, he's the guy who uh, is with Burisma, he has 17 audio recordings of conversations with the Bidens, two of which purportedly involve Vice President Joe Biden. So that would be a problem. The WhatsApp message included in the testimony by the IRS whistleblower further indicate Joe's involvement in Hunter's business affairs. One message sent to Chinese businessman Henry Zhao, Hunter threatened to use his father's political power to exhort unfulfilled promises and assurance from Zhao. I'm sitting here with my father, and we would like to understand why the commitment made has not been fulfilled. Hunter also said he had an ability to forever hold a grudge that you will regret. The man sitting next to me and every person he knows will make your life a living hell if you don't meet our demands. Now, maybe, maybe that was Hunter, you know, in a drug rage and he wasn't sitting next to his dad. That is a possibility. And they're denying it's even real. So, like, this is a perfect thing to investigate. Yes. Right? We need to find the answer. Obviously, if that is real and he was in the room, that's a massive problem. Wouldn't you want that? Because this is easy. All you have to do is just geotrack the the message. And I believe we know it was in the House. It came from the House. But they won't tell us if Joe Biden was there. That's, again, easy. Why wouldn't, if you were innocent and you weren't there— why wouldn't you say, yeah, I, I was, you know, over here. I was at the other house. I was on the beach. I was at the White House. Why wouldn't you say that? Easily provable. Easily provable. But still, even if he was in the same house, doesn't mean he was sitting next to each other. But it is smoke. Then you have Devin Archer, who testified to at least 24 times that Joe spoke with his son's business associates. And this has credibility because the White House changed the narrative after that testimony. I never discussed any business dealings. Now, I've never been in business with my son. That's a huge difference. Also, the vice president used his office to coordinate with Hunter Biden's business partners about Hunter's role in Burisma. There is an FD 1023, that's of her uh, confidential sources, containing intel from a, quote, highly credible confidential human source that is offering further evidence that the then vice president was instrumental in the firing of Ukrainian prosecutor investigating Burisma. And he was paid $10 million, the Bidens were, for his role in firing the prosecutor. Okay, we know he fired the prosecutor. We know he lied on videotape. To a, a panel, what, at the Foreign Affairs Council or whatever it is. Um, and he was talking about it and saying, look, uh, you know, uh, Barack knew. Uh, Barack was with me. This guy had to go. No, that's not true. The White House now has had to produce the records that show the White House wanted Shokin, said he was fine. State Department said he was fine. The EU all said he was doing a great job. So he lied. Why? Then a review of bank records conducted by the House Oversight Committee confirmed that at least, at least nine Biden family members, including children, received millions in diluted payments from foreign companies before, during, and shortly after Joe's vice presidency. What are the Biden children, I mean the children, children, what are they getting And what are they providing? When they say there is no evidence, there's lots of evidence. Now, that doesn't mean that, I mean, I believe this is so, I talked to Megan Kelly yesterday. I said, Megan, you're, you're an attorney. I'm not. I, I, if I looked at this, I would say this is an open and shut case just on what we have. And she said, oh my gosh, yes. Then you have the testimony of the IRS whistleblowers. Federal prosecutors concealed 
critical documents from tax investigators probing Hunter Biden while officials from the Justice Department sought to undermine the IRS's investigative efforts. One of the whistleblowers had previously alleged in May that his investigative team had been removed from the Biden tax probe at the behest of the DOJ. In addition to the alleged interference in the IRS tax probe, the DOJ also sought to give legal immunity to Hunter regarding child char- charges filed against him earlier this year. It was a Delaware judge who said, I'm sorry, have you ever done a deal like this ever before, DOJ? Oh, not that we can recall. So you have the lies. Okay, that's one thing. Then you have the Biden family, not just Hunter. They're trying to just make this about Hunter. You have nine family members having as many as 22 offshore accounts, some of them held by children, funneling millions of dollars. We need to know what those offshore accounts do. You have now, I think the number is 250, 200. I I, I mean, I can't even keep up with it. Where the treasury was alerted by banks saying this is money laundering. And it was all tied to those offshore accounts that went to the Biden family. Now, if grandpa didn't know this. Is the whole family in this and the only one that's clean is grandpa? And if that's true, how come the DOJ is doing everything they can to thwart any investigation? I don't know, uh, guys. I don't think this is, you know, I lied about sex. Uh, This certainly isn't about a perfect phone call. In fact, that perfect phone call, which he was impeached for, was regarding this. This was the Trump phone call. What the hell was happening with Burisma? All kinds of criminal activity was going on. Do you have any information on that? That's what that was all about. Everything you know about Ukraine is a lie. Everything you think you know about Ukraine is a lie. The American people need to know, one, are our highest officials and our highest offices up for sale? Can you buy it? Can you buy it? I hope to God the people of America say no, or we become, I don't know, a third world country. We become Venezuela. That's the number one thing. The second thing that you really need to know is, uh, is our Justice Department, is is our IRS, is everything just a weapon now of the guy who possibly sold his office? Can we trust anyone in the White House, anyone in the Justice Department, anyone, is there anyone there? All of this needs to be decided, and it is really important that we come to an answer. Even if Joe Biden walked out today and was hit by a bus, this needs to be investigated and needs to be cleared because we must send a message. This will not stand. If it was done, I don't want any kangaroo courts. I want equal and blind justice for all.